Hey what is going on everyone, this is Wicked and today I will make a short overview of a ROM which I have to say it is the most bloated with no problems I tested out so far. Light ROM version 2.5 for Samsung Galaxy S8 or S8 Plus. Most of the ROMs which have the bloating options, especially in the early stage of development, will give you some false closes after you select which apps to install and which not. This one is so debloated that I accidentally forgot to install the default keyboard and had to get the Gboard APK so that I can start putting my credentials in. And it gave me absolutely no error, I'll get into that later on. A few features taken from the official changelog are listed in the video right now. It is based on latest QG5 firmware, has latest Android security patch, comes with some optimization tweaks and uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. In order to install this ROM you'll need TWRP. If you don't know what TWRP is or how to install it on your device, check the video in the card section. Once into TWRP you may want to make a backup of your current configuration. Check the video in the car section again to find out how. Now go to install and select light ROM. A ROM installer will pop up. Make sure you perform a full wipe and select which apps you want to be installed in the ROM. You can also opt from installing the dual speaker mod, zero camera mod and a cool boot animation effect as well as your preferred routing method. At the end of it you should have the ROM installed on your device and you are ready to reboot it. Take in mind that the first booting process will take up to 7 minutes so enjoy this beautiful boot animation. After my device booted up I noticed that I didn't select any keyboard in a ROM as I told you earlier so I had to get Gboard from Google, the APK and install it and of course afterwards I had to put all my credentials in and the first screen I got into was the default launcher on which I also noticed I couldn't set any wallpaper on. So make sure you double check what apps you install in a ROM installer. The state of ROM I'm currently running right now is absolutely minimal. No single bloatware app, no theming options, no nothing. Just the bare functionality and you know what, I really like it. It's really nice to have the ability of devoting your ROM to this level, everything was working as it should be really fast and smooth and take a look at the RAM management, really impressive. Light ROM is rocking the best kernel which is known to giving a smooth and fast experience. The only major disadvantage for me was that this ROM doesn't come with a ROM control app. The dev said it doesn't have time for it but that's okay. Apart from that I couldn't find any problems. I opened up onto the benchmark to see how well it will perform. The score it got was pretty average placing it somewhere in the middle of my wall of speed pass. Into the gaming test I couldn't find any problems, lags or hiccups that may have interfered with the gameplay of Need for Speed No Limits. So to sum up, this ROM is on the same level with Badstock ROM. With the same purpose, a really close to stock experience, rock stable, smooth, fast and I would say this one comes with a more extreme level of the bloating for those of you who want the bare functionality. You may want to transform this into a more Google theme device with a custom launcher and some third party Google apps. Anyways, for all of these I will give this ROM a wicked score of 3.9 out of 5. Bear in mind that all ROMs which don't offer a ROM controlling app won't ever pass the 4 out of 5 score so that's an impressive score for light ROM. That was the review for today, I hope you like it, if you did don't forget to hit that thumbs up button and subscribe to my channel for more ROM reviews like this. Until next time, as always, take care, Wicked is out, bye bye.